Hi, it's a pleasure for me to be here at the uh, Zoho offices on the, in the Bay Area. Could uh, you guys introduce yourselves to the viewers? Yeah, I'm Sridhar Rambo, I'm the CEO of Zoho. And I'm Raju Agesma, evangelist for Zoho. Great. So uh, on the Gears team, we were really excited to, to hear your uh, new launch announcements yesterday. Could you talk a little bit about uh, what you actually launched? Yeah, we actually launched the Zoho Writer offline capability, first the viewing capability using Google Gears. And uh, we are going to also offer editing capability soon in the next couple of weeks, three weeks. Okay. So what else is in the Zoho suite, just so people are up the to speed? The Zoho suite has a full uh, office capability, uh, writer, that's a word processor, Zoho sheet, that's our spreadsheet, Zoho show, that's our online presentation, and we have a Zoho wiki and a notebook. In addition, we have tools in CRM, project management. Web uh, conferencing, web conferencing. a few other applications. And, and Zoho creator, which is an online application development tool, database and application creation tool. In total, we have about 16 applications. Great. So uh, why do you guys, guys decide that offline was important? Well, we have uh, several requests from our users. I mean, not all are offline always. So it's basically we have to address that particular requirement. And we have been looking at several options. And we even looked at uh, developing one ourselves internally. And yeah, primary requirement is from the users. The users wanted an offline support. And then we saw, we have been working on it for a some time and then we saw the Google announcement for Google Gears, we evaluated that seemed like a perfect fit for our application scenario, so we decided to adopt And it's an open source BSD license, so we really love the you know, technology and the licensing and the uh, open source ethos in this. So we decided this is really appropriate for us. When, when we decided to do it internally, in fact, we chose the same technology when the MySQLite as the database and... Oh, really? And <laughs> <laughs> similar, you would have, you would have gone the similar approach, but then when Google announced it... Announced it, especially yeah. open source, and at the back end, we use lots of open source components, MySQL database, Linux, and a lot, and this perfectly fits into our model. And when we looked at your, at your API, it looks really good, and especially the, say, the worker pool module, was really implemented really well, and we thought you know we'll implement that. And it's not just using the open source model that will give us a chance to even contribute back to this platform. So I think we see Google Gears as becoming a good platform going forward for all of offline capability in of any application, any web-based right. applications. Yeah. All right, cool. So are you guys using the worker pool? And we use worker pool. We use that to get the data and dump the documents into the database. So that's that's a primary thing we use it for. The SQLite and for yeah to the SQLite database. Okay, okay. cool. Uh, yeah, that's that's been uh, really useful, and I think it'll be it'll be good. Even and we are actually kind of standardizing this for a lot of our other apps now that we got started on this. This is the first, you know, testing the waters, and this is kind yeah. of well. I think we are going to launch it and across the other. Apps too. We want to take baby steps before we roll out a full fetch there sure. out for across other applications as well. That's the reason you'll see the read only functionality first. Eventually, we'll offer read rate functionality as well. So, uh, of course, your platform uh, will s stabilize as well as we move along. We have seen that eventually. Initially, we had some uh, issues in terms of installation, but eventually, those were solved. And we reported a few issues, and we, we we're really glad to see a great response from your team. The groups have been really Support has active. been excellent. Yeah. Support Good. has been yeah. excellent. We didn't ex frankly, we didn't expect that from Google. <laughs> 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 Being a large organization, we thought, you know, uh, it'll be Google like other large organizations. Yeah, but um, yeah. The support was really good. We were, we were surprised and uh, we we're glad we, we took this route. Oh, great. So um, have you found that you've been building abstractions over the, the low-level APIs yourself? So like over worker pool, do you have like a Zoho, Zoho worker pool or something that abstracts things out? Or well, you yeah, we do have high-level uh, thing we had to build, which ideally we would like uh, Google Gears implementing it. For example, uh, how do we know that whether the user is online or offline? We have to do some tests ourselves. Okay, so how did you guys do that? Well, we do a, an Ajax request, and if that fails, then we say that the user is offline, and then we take it offline. We say that it's an offline mode. But if Google Gears itself can provide that functionality, then that will be useful for uh, other implementers as well. Right, definitely. Yeah, I think as time progresses, I think the platform should mature, and more services should be available natively, then we can leverage. And all, all applications like ourselves can leverage this. Right, yeah. And we're, you know, excited to get 
you know, this input from you guys and uh, like you talked about contributing. Yeah. You know, we definitely want to make, you know, it's sometimes hard with, with Google, everyone thinks it's like a Google thing and you yes. say it's just an open source project and we want to yeah. get as many people working it's on it. This definitely possible. takes the industry forward. That's why we like love this. This is a, the whole web application thing, not just Google, Zoho, you know, anyone can participate in this. That's what is so great about this. And I mean, we started looking, when we started looking at so several, some of your examples, you had say four different examples. But there was no good example that combines all these scenarios for a real-time use case. Right. So we couldn't find one on Google here. So we thought, why not develop one? And we developed an example combining three of your examples as a single application and we contributed back to Google Gears and uh, Aaron uh, thanked us on that. So like that, whenever we see that there is something lacking in Google Gears, we try to contribute back. And uh, you know, we would love to do that further going forward as well. So. Right. As we go take it to edit mode and more deeper integration with the apps, I'm sure we'll come across stuff and we'll be happy to you know, roll in our updates and contributions. Great. So on Writer itself, what you released, you said it's uh, you know starting off it's read only in the future it's going to be read write. Uh, can you walk us through the uh, interaction model? How, how what what actually happens for the end user when they use it offline? Well, so when the user clicks on go offline, if Google Gears is installed, it'll download the documents. Uh, if it's not installed, we prompt the user to install Google Gears, and so once the Google Gears is installed and Firefox being re uh, restarted we download the documents. Uh, that's where we use the worker pool to download the documents and save the documents in the database. We use database uh, primarily because I mean, Google still, I believe it doesn't support the, with saving it in a flat file format. So so that's one, one feature where we would like to see going forward. If, if we have it as a flat file, then users should be able to access those documents using their maybe a Windows Explorer or, or Finder. Right. And uh, so currently we use Workle Pool to down, dump the data into the database and the user is redirected to the offline mode. And that is the, the presentation layer. At the back end, we have a separate JavaScript that takes the data and presents it to the user. So we have separated the presentation layer from the, the file or data layer. So we fetch the data from the database and show it to the user. So that two, these are two separate JavaScripts that handle this. How do you choose which documents to download? Well, we give an option to the user. Okay. So on the left side in Zoho Writer, the by default the user has a sorting mechanism. By default, they are uh, ordered based on say recent documents that he has created, or he can sort it based on alphabetical uh, or, or different options. Now, based on that order, by default, we download about 15 documents. And you can uh, set that to reset. Yeah, set that, the that option can be set. Today, you can set it about 25. Uh, we'll be increasing that to 50 in a couple of days. But we want to increase that our option as you know, as we see more adoption going. So we'll probably set it, let the user define how many documents he wants to download. And the criteria is based on the criteria. It's already the available. Sorting criteria. Yeah, already available in Zoho Writer. So. Right. So You've kind of taken the tactic that uh, Google Reader has, where you kind of say, I'm going offline now. Yes. Uh, do you think in the future that will disappear and it will just be like, I know you're offline and so... Yes. Ideally, that's, that should be the scenario. Because if the framework can know whether the user is online or offline, maybe periodically checking or based on user interaction, then that will be an ideal approach. Based on that, you know, it, should, it has to be seamless. Great. Um, so as you move to the kind of read-write model, are you finding any, um, uh, you know, a lot of people when talking about Gears, they're talking about, you know, the syncing, you know, how are we going to manage the syncing, and Gears doesn't offer, you know, a sync framework per se right now. Uh, how are you guys architecting that? We are taking care of syncing ourselves currently. Ideally, if, if Google Gears handles that, I should ask less you, is, is that coming? <laughs> 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 yeah, it'll be less work for us and syncing you know both on the file system side and the database side because there are there will be some database intensive application like a crm application and the way we handle syncing uh, differs from say the way we handle syncing for, writer. for a zoho writer okay so so syncing if 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 google gears can take care of that we have less work to do and we can release more apps offline. <laughs> 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 so at the moment is it uh, kind of do you see it being different for well, each app each syncing yeah, it would be when we're rolling our own Syncing capability now okay. for the writer. Right now, the writer is the first one that we're doing. Yeah. Then, when we do the 
it, in fact, probably the Google Gears model is, in fact, in some ways better suited for a database app than for a file-based app like right. Azure, right? So we have had to do some, uh, you know, storing like a blob in the engine and things like that. So some file capability would be uh, also nice in this. And and we like the Google uh, Gears because uh, it gives us good control into the database. Database access is compared to legacy, say even comparing to other offline options available today. Great. So is the syncing um, been a particularly difficult problem for the apps that you're writing, or are you finding it well, fairly easy Well, at this to point, do? we just rolled out the read-only mode, so syncing is, is not a big deal. But yeah. when we get into read-write mode, and when we, especially when a document is shared with multiple users, right. maintaining the versioning, maintaining the syncing, definitely we'll, we'll have to do some. We have to do there. some conflict resolution type of stuff when there are conflicting modifications and things like that, which we probably anyway have to do in the server side. Anyway, it's not a Google Gears yeah. problem as such. But it would be nicer to have some more framework support, the, the platform support for those. Right. So, so yeah. you guys currently in the back end have support for merging and all of yeah. that stuff anyway, yeah. and so you'll so we would use that. that, that yeah, and syncing based on different criteria. I mean, even uh, maybe if Google Gears can ping or check the, the bandwidth available based on that uh, stream, it make sure that it doesn't use 100% of its bandwidth. So there are several criteria you have to take care of. And if we can take care of that and, and based on that sync it, that would be good. And currently what we do is let's say you download 20 documents. And next time you go offline, we don't re-download those 20 documents. We, we see the difference. If, if he has added a couple of documents, we just download those two. But when it comes to read-write mode, it's important to just send the difference that is the delta of the changes that were made. And we just need to sync that part. So there is definitely some work there, and some platform help there will be useful. Great. So have you find found people uh, using the offline version yeah. already? We have a few thousands, uh, thousands of hits already. Wow, and, uh, great. Yeah, it's, I think the response has been pretty good. Great. So uh, where are you guys going next? You're going to go read write in, in the writer piece? Right are there other things after that that you're going to yeah, think are most important? Other applications will follow. First, maybe the file-based, because we already have a experience, and then the database to run CR and other stuff would follow in due course. Great. Well, thanks so much for chatting, guys. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. thanks for Great a great technology. <laughs>